Hello friends, welcome to another interesting tutorial in active filters. We'll discuss second order active filter. Today we'll discuss the low pass filter configuration. The circuit diagram for a low pass filter configuration with an operational amplifier connected at non-inverting terminal uh, will look something like this. Now if you've seen my previous videos where we discuss uh, active filters of first order we saw that uh, this terminal here the non-inverting terminal was just connected to an R and C uh, in shunt uh, to each other so that was a pr pretty simple configuration but over here this this new R is introduced and a new capacitor is introduced which is connected at node 1 and is terminated at the output. So the introduction of these two additional components will make this voltage uh, dependent upon uh, the, the square of the frequency at the transfer function. So we know that in active filters essentially operational amplifiers are used inductors are not used so the output is expressed as you know as transfer function h of s which is essentially v naught upon v1 or vi uh, in our case v input so th if this output depends upon um, the the square of or inversely proportional to the square of s square which is the frequency components then then we'll determine that it is a second order filter and that is what what we are going to do in this tutorial so having said that uh, we'll go to uh, the the previous discussion of non-inverting amplifier the output voltage v naught is related to VB as as this relation if we consider R1 and this R1 to be equal so these two resistances if we keep them equal then V0 comes out to be equivalent to twice of VB this has previously been established and secondly we could uh, we could see that applying node voltage method at this node 1 what we get here is V1 minus V upon R VB minus V upon R plus V naught minus VB into S of C is equal to 0 now this introduction of S here this S domain uh, introduction has come courtesy this capacitor this capacitor um, is the one which is responsible for introducing this s uh, component and finally what we need to do here is uh, we can we can find va from these two equations so if i mark this equation as star and this as double star i can get va to be equivalent to uh, this quantity so this is this just a simplification of these two equations to get VA and finally uh, we know that please make a correction here VB here if we see VB voltage of with respect to this capacitor and this resistor then we know that VB, VB voltage is related to uh, the voltage drops at R and C like this. This also has been done in the previous tutorial. Now once this thing is proved uh, we know that VB can be expressed uh, as half V naught then it becomes pretty s simple 
to get an expression for v naught upon v i. So th the final step is to get an expression for v naught and v i, which is something like this. So v naught upon v i is this quantity multiplied by v a. V a is substituted. This v a, this entire thing is substituted here so what we get is our hs which is our transfer function and we see that this transfer function is dependent upon the square of s and k here is 2 and we also see that omega naught becomes equivalent to 1 upon rc q is 1 the quality factor uh, from this equation by the way just comparing the standard equation so finally finally what we need to do is we can we can see the response curve of second order active filter so we see that if this was to be the cutoff frequency the response of the second order low pass filter will be more sharper if q is smaller so uh, i hope this quick derivation of second order active low pass filter was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video take care bye